Our next presenter is Amaranth Kara, whose three-minute thesis presentation is titled 3D Printing of High Temperature Melting Materials for Space Applications. Let's just do a quick show of hands in this room. How many of you can recognize the memorial over here? or from the image below, at least one person. Good show of hands. Now this image below is taken from the 1986 Challenger Space Shuttle mission. Growing up, many of us would have wanted to become an astronaut one day after watching Star Wars or any other sci-fi films. And I believe it's the same with these people. Although unfortunately, they went the extra mile to become an astronaut. The reason I say unfortunately is because these people lost their lives during the space shuttle disaster. Now, Judith Resnick, a Carnegie Mellon alumna, was one among them, and it is to celebrate whose life this memorial here was built on campus. The reason for the failure of this space shuttle is because of the failure of the materials at low temperatures. You can think of it like pipes bursting during a very cold winter day, if you'd like. And as some of you can recall, the 2003 crash happened because of the inability of the materials to keep up strength at high temperatures. Now, what if I tell you that there is a material that has excellent high temperature strength properties, highest melting point, but fails like the one in the 86 disaster? What if I tell you that mixing it with similar materials like tantalum and rhenium could potentially fix this issue while improving those properties? Now, throughout history, tungsten has been used in multiple avenues of research, although because of its highest melting point and cracking nature, it was limited in its use in space applications. Now, with the advent of 3D printing, we at our lab believe that we could make sure that these materials could be used for space applications at a lower cost. Now, 3D printing is a new age technology where complex geometries could be manufactured with the help of a computer-aided design and a special technique. This technique that we are using is called directed energy deposition, and as the name suggests, it directs a laser beam on the metal surface, melting the metal surface and the metal powders, thereby forming the part layer by layer. You can think of it like putting something from a Lego set if you'd like. Now, tungsten and tantalum has been tried with the help of 3D printing before, although with a little success. Our energy conservation relationships show us that it is tungsten and rhenium tantalum that could potentially fix this issue, give high strength and highest melting point. While our simulations prove this, our very own lab printed tungsten tantalum show that we are a path in the right direction. We believe that in the future, directed energy deposition could be used for safe space travel. Now, of many things these scientists could have done to have a successful life, they chose exploratory research, risking all their lives for the advancement of mankind. Now, the little we can do is make sure these mistakes do not repeat again in the future, and we are proud to do our part for this. We are proud to be an inspiration for the next-gen scientists. Thank you.